Disclaimer, guys. Disclaimer. Warning, warning, warning. This video talks facts. This video has truth. If you are a sensitive 76ers fan, do not proceed past the intro. I repeat, if you are a sensitive fan and cannot handle the truth, do not proceed to go past the intro. <laughs> What's up? What's going on? What's popping? You guys already know it's me, Simone with the Spizzorts. Back at it again, bringing you guys some sports. So if you are new here, if you're old here, and you haven't subscribed, new or old, go ahead and just hit the subscribe and keep rocking with me because NBA season, we it's going to be heating up soon. So make sure you guys are along for the ride and along for the videos. And also turn on your notification bell. Um, I'm being very cordial in the beginning of this video. So please give me my props because we about to lay into some folks. I have a very special, I would call him a guest because we be doing videos all the time. But a very special appearance on this Sixers video. What's up? It's your boy Dylan Matthews. Uh, y'all, Most of y'all already know me and... Some of y'all already subbed up, but if you're not subbed up and you hear my voice for the very first time and you like it, go ahead and check out the boys' YouTube channel, just Dylan Matthews, D-Y-L-A-N-M-A-T-H-E-W-S. I'll just put it in the description box below. If you like what you hear from Dylan, it'll be in the description box. Period. But guys, we just lost to the Broken Nets 109 to 122. Philadelphia now moves to 7-2, and two, and the biggest thing heading into this stretch of the Nets, Nuggets, Hawks, Heat, Celtics, and um lakers this stretch we're about to go on is that the, the i'll probably say the eagles is that the sixers haven't played a real team yet um i just want to start off with the fact that no spencer dinwiddie no Kyrie, no kd and we couldn't keep up with the nets when it came to scoring we couldn't stop joe harris um, Joe Harris had 28 points off the bench, but the biggest thing for me, guys, obviously we just played. It was a back-to-back. -back. I know a lot of you guys are talking about the back-to-back, -back, but also let's not forget the fact that turnovers, they had 35 points off turnovers. It's just about taking care of the ball for me, and the turnovers have been an issue in every game that I've watched. Now, I've watched every game. And even in games where we won, it's we still get sloppy a lot taking care of the ball. And if we're playing against teams with several scorers, several shooters, and a stretch that we're about to go up against, those are instant points that we're just giving away. Mind you, tonight, we only had seven points off of turnovers compared to the Nets, 35, which would have been 70 if Kyrie KD and Dewitty was it. I'm saying we got to take care of the ball. And this, if you really bout that life and you really watch my videos, <laughs> you will know I've been maintaining this. Even in the win against the Wizards, I said we got to watch the turnovers. I've been saying watch the turnovers. Guys, this is not something we can keep up down the stretch. Now, Dylan, before we go into Ben Simmons 11 points, let me just say this too. Shout out to our bench. Our bench played with incredible energy. For a long period of time, it was really like Dwight and the kids. It was kind of cute to see. <laughs> it really was kind of cute to see Dwight and the kids. And who knows, Doc, we, we had a, the bench played a lot of minutes tonight. Obviously, Seth Curry wasn't playing. We wasn't getting the space at all. Obviously, Seth is the only one they the defense going to respect now. Like, that really showed against the Nets because our space, once we lost Seth, nobody was getting any open looks. Now, shout out to the bench. For playing with so much energy, so much spark. The bench, of course, you know, they're the bench. They don't get as much time. They have more energy than the um, our starting unit. But still, come on. Like, our starting unit just had no feng shui at all. The half-court offense was just stagnant. It was nasty. It was stuck. And it's got to be because of Seth. And a lot of people were saying Danny Green is our glue guy. No, 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 no. It showed that Seth was the glue, the glue guy. I just got to get that off my chest real quick but i just want to give the props to the bench because the bench play you know 
outplayed themselves. We got some playtime from Isaiah Joe. Shake was nasty. Tyrese was nasty. It just wasn't enough because the starters weren't matching the energy. But can we talk about Ben Simmons' 11 points? What what do you get from that when your team is losing, trailing pretty much the whole game, and you're arguably, I'm gonna say arguably one of the best players because I mean it's debate worthy, like you know, and be Ben. Your point guard, how about that? Your point guard only got 11 points. It's not, it's not a good, it's not a great look. It's like um, I compare it to because obviously my team is the Hawks. I compared to Trey Young last night, only getting I think it was seven points against the Charlotte Hornets, and we had a terrible first quarter. Now I don't know what y'all first quarter looked like or how the game started off for y'all. Trailing. So trailing. So you would think he automatically wants to come out and be a little bit more aggressive, and he really wasn't, and he wasn't efficient either. After when he shot four thirteen from the field. He did attempt a three, but, I mean, he missed it, obviously. Um, so, it just wasn't a great showing from Ben. He was inefficient when he was trying to score 13 attempts. I mean, I guess that's a pretty good am amount of shots taken throughout the game. But, at this point, you would still kind of like to see him be more aggressive. But, I guess, since he was off tonight, that's why you didn't see him take a lot of shots. So, I guess I'll give him that. But, you like to see him facilitate more if he was off. And you know he has the ability f to facilitate and run the floor. He's supposed to be your point guard, like you said. And he only had two assists. He only finished the night with two assists. So that tells me not only was he inefficient, not really able to score the ball, but he didn't find other ways to be helpful on the court. He only had, like I said, only um, four assists. And as far as free throws, I'm not sure free throw wise what he was looking like, um, but Maybe he was able to get to the line and maybe that helps a little bit, but it seems like with only 11 points, he wasn't getting to the free throw line either. So at least not that much. So it just, you got to have a better output from arguably your best player. On and the let's team. also mention, thank you so much for that, um, Dylan. And this is just our instant reactions, but let's, let me also mention to you, Dylan, the fact that Ben's assignment was Karis LeVert. So that's a tough assignment. So I can, can see we read off LeVert's stats though, just real quick. Oh, yeah, 22 points, 9 of 25 from the field, all 5 from 3. He did have 10 assists. Now, I will say this. <laughs> 22 points does look bad, but it was off of 25 shots. That's true. So he wasn't So he wasn't efficient. He was shooting at volume because he was the main option tonight with KD and Kyrie being out. So I won't say Ben necessarily did a bad job. It's just care shot a lot, and some of them shots are going to go in. I mean, that just is what it is. And it's not necessarily every possession. Every single possession Ben is on, Karis LeVert, you know, there's going to be switches throughout the mm -hmm. game, and he's going to be on different people when Ben's out of the game. So things you got to think about. So I won't put that on Ben just because Karis looked to be very inefficient tonight. Um, um, let me say this. Our half-court offense was terrible. Our passes were not. And this is something that's really been, like, our bread and butter on our, like, so we're 7-1. and one. Like, it was really a credit to the fluidity and the – chemistry in our half court offense like i said it, the mm -hmm. chemistry was just through the roof and now we subtracted seth it just seemed like the guys were all off mm -hmm. like the passes were terrible it was like you i mean you could just tell by the turnovers the passes were terrible tobias was passing way too much and he's not that's yeah. not your it's not your job <laughs> but i just the, the thing that's just the most disturbing to me is just the fact that at the end of the game when and mind you, we were pretty much trailing the whole game. And this is the same thing in the Cavs game. Mm -hmm. And mind you, the Cavs game, we didn't have him beat. But it's like, dang. And, and maybe if we had Seth, Seth would have been that guy. But I'm just like, we need more offensively scoring-wise. Like, we should be able to go toe-to-toe. -to -toe. We should be able to eat up a lead. And when it comes to, when we come to, like, the teams that's going to be shooting at much more, with much more accuracy, like we said, Karis, wasn't accurate but when we play like let's say Kyrie or KD were in the game what would the yeah. box score have been 200 it could have got ugly it could have got real ugly because yeah y'all did let some I'm guys I'm saying like why we can't keep up in like a shootout type scenario I mean y'all should be able to like you said y'all have even with even without Seth I'm being saying on the like, court y'all still have scores and that's what I'm saying like 
been though. You got eleven points. You're supposed to be one exactly. and one first or second best player on the team, and you're the point guard. So at that point, it's just in your responsibility to be the guy that takes over and go get a bucket. And my thing about Ben is too, it's not like he's shooting a lot of threes. So why was he missing so much? If your game is mostly an inside game, you would think you'd be a little more efficient. So it's because they were lazy. Thing. Ben and B, they were taking. I told you they were taking a lot of lazy shots. Mm -hmm. Um, a lot of just little pull up floaters. Mm -hmm. It's just like be aggressive, use your body, use your skill set. It right. was just like they was it was no energy, it was no effort. Just right. a lot of little oh get get the pass, little pull up floater. Like make an effort, make a play, make a move. To me, it sounds like this team kind of they were coming off a of back to back, and I'm not using that as the main excuse, but I'm thinking just I'm in the mind of the mm -hmm. 76ers right now. I'm thinking they thought oh KD and Kyrie out both out tonight. Come okay, off back to back. Okay, we thought that in the first try, quarter. Right, but we're then gonna try to coast. We was, yeah. yeah, but and then I guess by the time they figured out this team actually gonna pack a punch, they just couldn't get in a rhythm or couldn't get in a groove. Um, so that just seemed like what it was. They they did not take this team seriously. They got hit in the mouth, and then they didn't know how to come back from that afterwards my biggest thing is the turnovers because like i yes. said the turnovers have been something even in our wins even in our great wins we still had a lot of turnovers yeah you we, know what i mean even in our the, the games we look great in still turnovers have been an issue so that's me my biggest takeaway like i've just been maintaining we need to take care of the ball much more because like i said when we're playing teams that can <laughs> consistently like you said accurate <laughs> we're playing with guys that are very accurate in their shooting like we said Karis LeVert was carrying the whole load he hasn't been used to starting but when we're playing a Jason Tatum a Jalen Brown a Kimba gonna be back that's three guys that's two of them are gonna be shooting accurately if we could not we gonna see guys but um, anyway, if you made it this far in the video, let me know what you got to say. I got one last thing to say to, to piggyback off you real quick. It's definitely the turnovers have to be the biggest takeaway. We have 20 turnovers, and then when you only shoot 47% from the field and 34% from the three-point line, you're not going to win a lot of games like that. Well, that's a wrap. Peel with you. So let me know what you guys think. I already know y'all going to be pissed because y'all don't like hearing nothing but sunshine and rainbows. But <laughs> make sure you guys like, make sure you comment and subscribe and keep rocking with me. Uh, make sure you hit Dylan up. His YouTube channel is going to be in the bio. Bye. Bye.